Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's speed build, I have a very special pirate set. Set 6289, Redbeard Runner from 1996. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build. This set is right around 700 pieces and comes with seven minifigures. And I cannot even begin to tell you all how excited I am to have this set. The coolest thing happened and one of my followers was so incredibly kind and generous to send me this set to my P.O. box. I was in absolute shock when I opened it. They also included a little motor I needed to complete my interstellar starfighter and a lego blanket i have been using it every day it's so soft i'm obsessed with it so just like the coolest thing to ever happen to me the most generous gift i've ever been given i'm still in shock this is the first time i've built it i did go ahead and put the sails on it off camera because of the size of this it was really hard to get the whole thing in the shot as i was building it but I cannot thank this person enough. Again, truly the most amazing gift and I am incredibly grateful for any gift that I'm ever given, but I have wanted a pirate ship for so long and since I'm working on paying off my student loans, I, I don't really buy a whole lot of Lego for myself. Most of the stuff is, you know, business related buys. So to have this in my personal collection now, I mean, honestly, I could uh, just cry if I weren't, you know, wearing a full face of makeup and trying to film a video right now. So I have been playing around with it a little bit, but if I don't know all of the nooks and crannies of this set. It is because I've just built it for the first time and I'm still getting to figure out what all moves and how everything works, but this is seriously such a cool set. So I'll go ahead and show you the minifigures first. 
So first up we have Captain Redbeard himself. Truly an iconic minifigure of the era. Love the torso, the classic hook hand, the brown shoulder piece in the original brown color, the printed bicorn hat, the peg leg. I mean, all around just a fantastic minifigure. Then we have this gentleman. Love the anchor tattoo on the chest. I actually just got a set with this torso pattern in the last year or so, and that was the first one I've ever gotten. And this set actually comes with two of them, so now I have three in total. I absolutely love it, so I'm excited to have a few of them, but it is just a beautiful design. So here is the other one. Again, love this torso. Really like the bandana in black. Feels a little more rare and unique. Both of these guys are great minifigures. Then we have this guy, another great torso pattern. Very traditional of this era of pirates. I feel like this face might also be used in like the Western sets maybe around this time as well. Got the nice tricorn hat. Again, another great minifigure. Love this guy. The green vest just really pops for him, so I love that. The face. Another great unique face pattern, another black bandana, so definitely love that. Another classic eye patch face pattern, which is always cool. Love these torso patterns. There are a bunch of different variations, which is really nice to mix it up. And then finally we have this guy. Again, fantastic torso pattern. Love that he comes with a hook hand as well. A brown tricorn hat, eye patch, I mean, truly great. So all in all, seven simply fantastic minifigures. Okay, as for the rest of the set, I guess I'll kind of just start at the front and work my way to the back. All right, right at the tip here, we have a very classic pirate flag with the Jolly Roger skull and crossbones. It does move. It is adjustable. Directly under it is actually a partial minifigure. So you can see the bicorn hat there with the, again, skull and crossbones. So that's a really cool design feature to use an actual partial minifigure at the front of the boat. I would like to say I am obsessed with the color scheme for this boat. I like that it's got red, yellow, blue. These pops of color are so nice. A little more festive than say maybe like a traditional color of a boat, a brown or a black or something like that. I love that the underneath side is red. All right, there is a monkey here too. Obsessed with the original classic brown monkey hanging on to these rigging pieces. Down below here, there there is a movable piece. So it does fall if you pull on that, which is really cool. Um, so I guess that would be like if the ship was struck by a cannon, you could simulate it being hit. So again, you pull and it falls down. I think that's absolutely fantastic. These sails are unbelievable and they're in just the nicest condition you know, I could not ask for more pristine looking sails for sails that have simulated damage anyways. I think that's so funny. So, you know, they've got patches and cutouts like they've been worn, but they're in perfect condition, which is awesome. So a great movable piece there. We also have a, a shark in a net here as well. So that's another movable piece. Another great animal part as well. Got some flags up top here as well as here. I love this flag. I only have one other set that has that flag. Beautiful, classic design. On the side here, we have a plank. You know, you gotta walk the plank if you get caught on board or you know, you've done something wrong. There are three cannons included in the bed of this ship and they slide on these yellow tracks. There are openings on either side, three openings, so you can have them come out of whichever openings you'd like. And then you get 18 of these one by one light gray cylinders to load into the cannons. And then a few of these guys to pretend to push them in. So a few of those included as well. So these blue flags lift on the sides and that's where the cannons come out. Great movable parts there. There are tons of little weaponry pieces included, all classic pieces. So those can be stored in the barrels. 
is another great piece. I like that the sails have different patterns on it. So you've got the cross cutlasses and, you know, skull and crossbone. And then the back one's just, you know, a plain one. But I like that they did two different patterns for these. Just adds a little more diversity to it. Also get a parrot, which oh, I love those. The wheel up top here, as well as a compass. So I looked it up in this pattern of the compass only comes on a variety of pirate ships as well as a couple of Scala and Belleville sets. I thought that was kind of funny. So I think there were seven pirate ships that had this compass and then three Scala Belleville sets that had this compass. So a total of 10 sets that have come with that compass. So definitely on the rare side. While I've got the ship turned this way, I wanted to point out the skull build on the back here. The direction I was building this from was, you know, from my angle, looking at it this way. I couldn't even see that it was a skull until it was finished. I'd put it on, I went to flip the boat around and realized that it was a skull build. I did not even realize that as I was building it, but that is a really cool design. Such a great idea and it turned out great. Underneath there's also a little movable piece here to I guess kind of help steer the boat. So down here is a pin. There's one on both sides and if you pull it the back end of the boat kind of falls backwards. So that's really cool. I guess again to simulate if a cannon were to hit this, especially if someone was, you know, steering the boat up top here, or, you know, standing here, gets hit with a cannon, this sends them flying. So that's a really cool idea. On the back as well is a treasure chest that's got, you know, two sets of gold coins. I think that would probably go flying as well. You know, they lose their bounty of gold coins and the opposing side would get a hold of those so that's a great idea there as well great for playability i want to point out on the side here these windows the white lattice windows are only found in this pirate ship and one other pirate ship and that's it i looked it up if you just want that little white lattice insert it starts at eight dollars in the united states which is crazy so they did re-release this set under a different name and number in 2001 it's set 6290 and it's just called pirate battleship which i thought was really interesting that's like around the legends era some sets were remade and released around that time but not included in legends which i think is really weird and most of the time when they would re-release the same set it was under the same name just a different number so i don't know why they didn't call it the same thing but that is the only other set that again has those white lattice windows so technically it's the same set it's just released in a different year under a different name and number so pretty much an exclusive part so the sides do open which is nice so for playability purposes getting to the interior super great really nothing going on in there but you could put minifigures or whatever you want and it does open on both sides and then you can attach a little lifeboat or whatever else you want to call it a little boat of some sort back there too so that's a nice little additional piece for great playability so all in all i just cannot get over how fantastic this set is finally getting a pirate ship is an absolute dream come true it's much more massive than i could even realize you know you see photos or whatever online or people holding them and you just don't realize how gigantic these pirate ship sets really are so I'm absolutely in love with this. I can't say thank you enough to my follower and I'll gladly tag him in the comments if he wishes to be, you know, recognized for that. But obviously this is a fairly expensive set. If you're looking for a pirate ship, then 11 out of 10 would recommend this beautiful, beautiful ship.
watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.